and welcome back everyone to our PHP tutorial. So in the last class we stopped at writing variables and printing it out to the screen. Alright, so quickly put on your exam. Okay, my exam is on. Put on the Apache and the MySQL and then launch your visual, um, your sublime text. So we had something nice in our last class. Okay, I'm just going to open my browser now. And let's see where we stopped. Okay, the local host slash the name of our folder, which is php tutorial slash um, the name of our file, which is php hyphen syntax dot php. All right, we had this nice layout in our last class. Okay, so we'll continue from this place. I'm just going to make use of um, Internet Explorer. And I'm going to localhost slash PHP tutorial. Okay, this is going to be slash PHP hyper syntax dot PHP. All right. We had this in our last class. Okay. So let's continue with that. So today we'll be talking, I listed some things we'll be doing today. Talking about logical operators, talking about relational operators, and talking about assignment operators and then as um, arithmetic operators and then assignment operator. And all these things they are all called um, operators okay so we'll be looking at all this now we've we'll been working with assignment operator now let's create a new file let's create a new file and let's call this operators control s and you see that the name is there okay add dot php then save let's get rid of it now remember I told you, for you to start writing your PHP, you need to have the opening tag and the closing tag. In Sublime, once you just type PHP and hit your tab, it generates for you. Okay. So we'll start with the assignment operator which we've been working with for so long. Now what is assignment operator? An assignment operator is used for assigning values either to a variable or to an object. Okay, now we can have object is equals to anything at all. Okay, now we'll be making use of this assignment operator in assigning values to our variables. Okay, now don't think assignment operator is something so big what is assignment operator this is an assignment operator this now is an assignment operator okay all right now let's have a variable remember if you are creating a variable you first have your dollar sign then the name of your variable okay now we use the assignment operator this the assignment operator to assign values to the variable okay so we have let's assign a string i am i am a variable also now we can have an array i know we've not touched an array now we can have an array also that can have different elements instead of it, alright? So we're not going to erase, we're not going to erase today, but we'll be touching on um, these four operators today, okay? Now, 
I'm going to be introducing first of all a conditional flow. Okay. Now, what is a conditional statement or a conditional flow? I can also call it statement, which is more better. Okay, now what is a conditional statement? Now, a conditional statement is checking if something is actually right or wrong. You can have if, I'm just going to write this from scratch, if, then your bracket, if 3 is greater than 1. And so we we'll have we we'll have our curly braces. This. So we use the echo. So remember, we use our echo keyword to print out what we want to the web page. Okay. So if three is greater than one, echo the. Oops, sorry about that. The integer number the integer number three is greater than one. Okay. Now else else if three is not greater than one. The statement inside of the else block is going to be executed. Now say echo the integer the integer number three is not greater than one. Okay. So now let's save our work and let's go back to our browser. Now, instead of having PHP syntax of PHP, we'll have operator.php. Okay, I'm missing out something. What is the name of my file? Okay, operators, actually. Operators. All right. The integer number three is greater than one. Awesome. Now, this echoed the first one because the statement inside of this is true. Now, this is how if statement works. Now, I'm going to just get rid of this and explain this for you. If a bracket, now, inside of this bracket, okay, now, inside of this bracket is where we write our condition. Our condition. Now, what do you want to check out for that is what you put inside of this bracket okay now we have this opening curly braces and the closing curly braces now inside of this block of code inside of this if statement is where you have the right result and so if i say if three is greater than one and i say echo Yes, yes, this. The result is true. So the first statement immediately after the condition will be printed out. Now, if you have else, else is when this condition is not true. Now, so far the condition is true. The first statement after the condition will be executed. Now, if this condition is not true, it will skip this statement and go directly down to the else statement. So we have echo no. It is not. I'm close. Remember your semicolon? Your semicolon. Okay? Now, let's make this statement not to be true. Three 
is less than one this statement is not true so is simply going to skip this statement here and jump to the next statement okay let's say return back to our browser with hot star or you can simply go through the navigation and now let's refresh control r you see that no it is not okay now let's go back to our sublime now let's change this to be true three is greater than one which is true now it's going to execute the first statement now let's go back to our browser refresh yes it is awesome all right now this leads me in talking about logical operators now logical operators you have i'm just going to use here now talking about talking about logical operators and you have the and the and you have the or you have the and and the or now the and the php is recognized with a double ambassand symbol and the or is recognized with um two vertical lines okay now we are going to be making use of this and the law in computer um secondary school and all of that so you see the and is the two the two statements must be correct or the two statements must be true okay and the or one of the statements must must be true okay so if we have now let's go back to our code um so if we have if now the condition will go inside here if three is greater than one and one is less than three okay let's see another one and four is less than two this is not true now echo correct semicolon else if this is not true echo incorrect now let's check our work control s save back to your browser refresh now you have yes it is an incorrect okay i'm just going to i'm going to get rid of this you can leave yours all right let's be on the same page put a br sorry about that okay, let's have echo yeah now this is a line break in html so you can embed html instead of your php we'll get to that Control s you know and then back to our browser refresh all right so we have yes it is for the first condition and for this condition that we have our logical operator we have incorrect why why is it incorrect now remember i told us that using the and operator the two statements must be true and in our code here the first straight statement is false three is not less than one and four is not less than two so the two statements are both false and this won't work because you are using the and operator now let's change this to be true now you might be asking what is a statement 
Now these two things, or this, this here is a statement, and this is a statement, and the operator is checking for both this statement and uh, and this statement. Okay. So three is greater than one. This is true, and four is less than two, which is not true. Let's save our work and let's go back to our browser. Refresh. Wow. We still have incorrect. Now, the law is when you are using an AND operator, the two statements must be true. So let's go back to our code. Now, let's make this to be true. Now, 4 is greater than 2 and 3 is greater than down one save your work go back to your browser and refresh now we have correct because the two statements are true all right now let's talk about the all operator the all operator now this operator one of the statements must be true okay and let's go to our code and let's Instead of having two ampersand, we have two vertical lines like this. Now let's make the two of them first. I'll change this to first. And change this to first. And let's save back to our browser. We refresh incorrect. Why is it incorrect? Because using our operator, one of the statements must at least be true. So let's change. The first one to be true and let's leave the second statement to be false so let's save and go back to your browser correct now this is showing correct because of the law of all operator all operator also the all operator is true when both of them are true also okay so let's make the second statement to be true let's say go back to your browser refresh you see that it is still correct all right now in and operator it is different the and is true when when only the two statements are are true okay so this is logical operator now let's go to relational operators now, what are relational operators? Now, let's have our line break here also. Um, BR and a semicolon ending it. So, what is um, a relational operator? Now, a, a relational operator is used for comparing two statements. So, we can have if, okay, if three is equals to three okay and I'm just going to write this out here now the relational the relational operator now as I said initially is is used for comparison between two Statements. Now, to check if two statements are the same, we use the double assignment operator. Double assignment operator. This. Now, to check if it is strictly equals to the other statements. Now to check whether the first statement is strictly equals to the second statement, um, you might be asking, 
and what's the difference between uh, the um, first um, state um, operator and the second operator now this is to check for equality now the third the second one is the triple assignment operator now it's used for checking um, um both the data type of a particular statement and so if we have we are checking for if three is strictly equal to three that is in this operator now when you have a string three this is going to throw an error because this other statement is of type integer and this statement is of type string and so they are not strictly identical okay now but if you do this on this first operator if three is equals to three this is going to work for you and this is going to work for you because they are, um, this operator is not checking for the data type so it's just checking for the value okay so we have um if it is not equals to and how do we do that we have the exclamation mark and our assignment operator okay now i'm just going to write that again this and this that is actually what it is so if you join it together this happens okay nice to check if the first statement is not equals to i'm just going to say the first statement is not equals to the second statement okay so we have we can have if So we have if three is not equals to four echo blah 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 so this is how to use the if not operator okay now we have the we also have it's not strictly This. So we are checking for, as I've mentioned earlier, the data type actually. Now we have different data type. We have um, we have the integer, we have the string, we have the decimal, we have decimal, we have the float, the float, we have the double and all of them so now this here this here is actually checking if the first statement is strictly identical to the second statement that is is checking the data the data side okay so in our next tutorial we'll be writing our code with these things here okay so i'm just going to explain the last one which is the arithmetic operator so i'm going to lastly i'm going to be explaining the arithmetic arithmetic operator we all know this we have the addition the subtraction the division, the multiplication, um, the modulus, and the rest of them. So this, we all know, is the plus sign. Subtraction is the minus sign. This is the division sign. And this is the multiplication sign. And this model is your percentage. All right. So in our next tutorial, we'll be covering these things and we'll be seeing how PHP works with all of this. All right. See you in the next video. If you don't understand anything, please go back, pause the video, make sure you understand. See you in the next video. Thank you.